Hi folks, this is Will Stewart of TechSideline.com and today we're going to be taking a video tour of the new message boards on our site. We've written some tutorials, but we think that a video tutorial is also something that can be very helpful. If you're not viewing this video in full screen mode, please click the lower right hand corner of the video so you'll see it in full screen mode. That, that'll give you the best look at things. Our new message board system is a vBulletin message board system. vBulletin has been around a long time and is in, is in use on thousands of message board systems on the internet. It has a lot of great features, but it's pretty different from our old system, which was a custom piece of software coded back in the late 1990s. First, let's start by pulling up the list of boards that are on our site. So I'm going to click the Forums button. And what you see here is a list of every message board we have divided up into categories. Here's a special use board, our TSL Pass subscriber boards, our free non-subscriber boards, and down here are some site related boards. Now this page shows you how many threads and posts are on each board as well as the most recent post on each board. So let's take the football board there have been 617 threads, and we'll tell you what that means here in a minute, with over 5,700 posts. And the last post is uh, this post here. Here's a little peek at the subject line. And it was posted by Hokie79 on Wednesday, February 15th at 4.42 p.m. Now let's click on the football board and take a look at it. This is the home or index page of our football message board. It displays all of the threads on the football board. A thread is a collection of posts or messages about a similar topic. The thread starter, the very first post on the thread, is indicated by the little maroon turkey track. And all the posts that have responded to that starter are shown with little uh, orange turkey tracks you can see that each thread is displayed on an alternating background color. So these posts here represent one thread. This collection of posts here represents another thread. Here's another thread on this gray background here. So that gives you an idea, you know, many of you said you didn't even understand the term thread. Well, that's what a thread is. Now some of the threads on this board are what's called sticky posts. They always stay at the top of the board. These are used to give you information about events, you know, used to promote a sponsor, or just to tell you about things that are going on with the site. These first four that I'm showing here are all sticky posts, so they're all going to stay at the top. And anything below that is uh, just a regular post that as they're posted, they'll get bumped down the board by newer posts. So let's click down into a thread and take a look. Let's start with uh, this post about the 2012 schedule. Now first give it a moment for the whole thread to load and your browser will jump to the post that you just clicked. There you go. Now you scroll up a little bit and you can see the entire thread right above the body of the post you're looking at. So here's the threaded view of all the posts, subject lines. And here's the message that, uh, that we're looking at right now. It was posted by I. Nelson, Tuesday, February 14th at 3.33 p.m. And it's about the 2012 schedule asking when, it was, when it's usually, when the schedule is usually posted. Now on our old board, this message here was on top of the thread. But on the new board, the thread is shown on top of the message. And this, this box here is always a fixed height, regardless of how many posts are in the thread. If there's a lot of posts in the thread, you'll see scroll bars here allowing you to move around in the thread. Now here's the reason why it's done that way. We're looking at the thread starter right here. You can see a faint blue colorization to it. Now watch what happens when we click the subject line of responses to this post. The content of the post is immediately loaded. There's no page reload. So this allows us to zip through all of the posts in a thread quickly. Obviously I'm not reading all these, but uh, you know you can see how quickly you can step through. So th that, that's the way it's organized the way it is. If you had this down here at the bottom it would be moving up and down as the uh, size of the message changed. So that's why it's arranged this way and that's why it's different. And when you're done looking 
at the post in a thread, you can click the back arrow in your browser up here, or you can go here, see how it says forum, free, non-subscriber boards, and football. And that'll take you back to the index page of the football board. When you're looking at a thread on the message boards, here's how you can tell which posts you've already viewed in a thread and which ones you haven't viewed. If you look up here in this thread view, you can see that some of the posts, the subject lines, have white icons next to them, and the others have blue icons next to them. The last time I viewed this thread, the white posts were in this thread, so I've already visited this, th this thread while they were here, and I've read these posts. The blue icons indicate posts that are new since the last time I viewed this thread. So I can skip these at the top and just click on the subject lines of these here and read them, and that will catch me up on the thread. Now if you watch what happens when I reload the thread, most of the posts in the thread are now white, including the ones I just read but you can see there are also some new ones. So that's how you can tell. Anytime you come into a thread, anything that has a blue icon next to it is something you haven't read yet. Now let's tie it all together. There's one neat new feature on the new boards that we didn't have on our old boards, and it's called the What's New button, or the Latest Posts button. If you're looking at the board, you can access what's new by clicking here. But if you're anywhere else on the site, you can get to it through the forums menu. It's the first item right here called Latest Posts, What's New. When you click the What's New button, it loads a list of the most recently updated threads across all of the boards in your board system. And here's how it's arranged. The first column list the threads by the starter post, the subject line of the starter post. The second column shows you how many replies or posts that thread has received and how many times it's been viewed. The third column shows you when the last post occurred in that thread. So you can see here that the top few threads on the board system have been updated at 302, 304, 05, 06, 06, 06, and 308 p.m. Now the far right column, which uh, at the moment has a little bit of a formatting problem, tells you which board the thread is on. So if you look, you can see that here's a lounge thread, a lounge thread, football, men's basketball, TSL pass recruiting. So what's new doesn't just show you the latest post on one board, it shows you the latest post on all of the boards in the board system. So let's decide we want to take a look at the um, thread, Will J.T. Thompson be on the team next year? And that was on the men's basketball board. So if you decide you want to read that, that's a thread you're keeping track of. You click it, and it opens up that thread in your browser, and you can read the latest posts. So the What's New button for me is really kind of a go-to place on the boards now. It's where I go to see all the action across all the boards, and, and to be able to tell at a glance uh, where the newest posts are occurring. 